Now let us solve example 2. It's a similar example with different uh, data. Our product A and B, we have now 3000 units of A and 2000 units of B with further processing cost of 5000 and 10,000, selling prices of 10 and 20 respectively, and joint costs are 27,000. And again, we need to find out share of joint cost using the constant gross profit margin method. As I told you earlier, that it's the constant gross profit margin method. So we are not talking about constant gross profit. We are actually talking about the constant gross profit margin. That That is, the margins should be same. The percentage should be the same. So first of all, let's write down the individual sales revenues. Uh, 10 for product A and into 3,000 years. Then comes uh, product B, which has a price of 20, multiplied by 2,000 units and 40,000. And let us add these two to get the total revenue, 70,000. Now, uh, we don't know the share of joint cost, which, which is something that we need to find out. But we know further processing cost of the two products. And the further processing cost of the two products are $5,000 and $10,000 respectively, A and B. Uh, and the sum of the two will give us the total further processing cost. Then we don't know individual costs related to uh, these two products uh, for the, that uh, joint cost one, but we know the total joint cost, which is 27,000. So I'll just write the total one, 27,000. And let us add these two to, f to find the total costs, which is, that are 42,000. And uh, let me write it as a negative figure because we have to subtract it from the revenue 42,000, 70,000 minus 42,000 which will be 28,000 so the gross profit is 28,000 so let us find the gross profit margin 28,000 divided by 70,000 it's 40 percent so as, uh, uh, as we discussed in the previous example if you want these two gross profit margins to be the same then they must be equal to the, the the overall gross profit margin because that overall gross profit margin represents the average of these two. So 40% and 40%, these two ha have to be the same. So if you want to have a gross profit margin of 40% for product A, then the gross profit should be 40% of 30,000, 12,000. That's going to be the gross profit. Uh, similarly, it should be 40% of 40,000 in this case, 12 and 16. And if you add these two, it's 28,000. 28,000. Now, let's come to the total cost. So if uh, sales revenue is 30,000, gross profit is 12,000, then obviously the total cost will be 18,000. Eighteen thousand. Now, if eighteen thousand is the total cost, and of the total cost, further processing cost is further processing cost is five thousand. So the rest of the cost will be the share of joint cost, and which will be thirteen thousand, right? So it's thirteen thousand. So thirteen plus five, eighteen. Similarly, here forty minus 16 will be 24,000. So out of 24,000, if 10,000 is, is the further processing cost, then the rest of the cost will be the share of joint cost. Fourteen thousand. So here we go. We have got the share of joint cost for each of the two products, 13,000 and 14,000. If you add these two, it will give us the total joint cost 27,000. So that is the constant gross profit method. I hope you have got it.